Hello and welcome back to today's vlog here at Throttle. We got a really exciting update for you guys on our 2020 Ford Mustang, which is now a sweepstakes vehicle. If you guys didn't already know, that's right, we're giving this thing away. And today we are gonna tackle the digital gauge cluster conversion. We sourced most of these parts through AutoNation Ford of Tustin. So shout out to Joe and their parts department for sourcing all this stuff for us. And I hooked up with the pioneer of this conversion and his name is Sam Breeves. He's gonna help us calibrate this to our car. We're gonna start with the gauge cluster. This is the most expensive part of the kit. Uh, this is a huge upgrade for this because normally you just have analog style gauges on the dash, but this is gonna be complete digital and look more like a video game or a race car style cluster. Now, in order to be able to go through all of the functions in this, you need to update the steering wheel controls. Um, so we're gonna swap that out on our wheel, and then we're adding this one. This adds the pony button, which allows you to flick through the settings a lot quicker for your uh, drive modes. It's utilizing these, these buttons as different features uh, as opposed to our factory wheel. So now onto the steering wheel. We have to take the steering wheel off to do this. It's not necessary, but it makes the job easier uh, in the 18 and up. So we're gonna pull the steering wheel off. So I figured if we're doing that, we might as well update to the GT350 steering wheel, which provides a suede uh, upper, a leather lower, a notched bottom so that doesn't hit your knees, and a black stripe. Now these are available in two different colorways. We went with the black and gray stitching. So that's a nice upgrade. I'm really excited to add that to the car. And the last thing that you need for this conversion is going to be the gauge cluster surrounds. And then this Bluetooth to your phone, you download an app, and we can program this thing to the features that are on our car. And that's where Sam Breeves is gonna come in. He's gonna go ahead and program this for us and get it set up so that this car can be driving out of here today with all the functions and features working. I will say, if you guys wanna tackle this, head on over to Sam's site. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. He offers this package, you can just buy it all directly from him. Pre-program it to your car utilizing your VIN and ship it to your doorstep for this conversion. Since we're dealing with an airbag, we're gonna go ahead and start by disconnecting the negative terminal off of our battery so we don't have any situations that uh, could be bad. All right, the airbag's out. These are all a traditional chrome style, and this has chrome, and then all these rings have chrome. So we're gonna keep the chrome on from our steering wheel and put it on the GT350. As you can see, this is a pretty boring steering wheel. It's a nice leather wheel, don't get me wrong. I just think the suede is a much nicer option. We can start to pull the steering wheel out. We're going to make sure the steering wheel is nice and straight. So when we put the new wheel on, we just put it on nice and straight. We don't have to worry about messing up our alignment uh, with the wheel and the rack. And then we can go to the table and start replacing all of our switches and everything. One thing to note is that these are actually color matched. You can see this one's black and this one's yellow. So on the back of the airbag, the connectors on this side as well are black and yellow and you can just match them up when you put them back together. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put these side by side. You can kind of see the differences. Black chrome, chrome, square bottom, not square bottom. Uh, and you can see the differences in these controls as well. They are definitely not the same. They look physically the same, but they are not the same. Man, that's gonna be a sick upgrade. But for now, I'm gonna set these aside. I really wanna get onto the portion of getting the cluster mounted because that's arguably the hardest part or the most difficult part. So as you can see, our new one doesn't have the completion of these circles. This is a very iconic Mustang style uh, gauge cluster with the dual circles. I'm looking forward to the electronic version. All right, it's the moment of truth. See how Fitman is with our new uh, gauge surround, which means I have to take this green film off. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. 
All right, all cleaned up. Ready to put this guy in. See how smooth this goes. All right, now that the cluster's in, we can move on to our steering wheel install. Got my T20 Torx. Let me go ahead and disassemble this guy and get it ready for our chrome trims as well as the new buttons. I went ahead and put the little protector on our steering wheel so I don't uh, scratch it up or anything. Man, it looks sick. Can't wait to put this in. We're just gonna reinstall it the way we took it out, just in backwards order. Okay, well I've got Sam on the phone here and if you're on the forums, you've probably seen him as Breeves002. He's logging in via our computer here, gonna plug into our OBD port and he's gonna go ahead and program this thing on the fly for me so that it has all the features that the car came with from the factory, they're all operating on the screen. I'm not the most computer savvy person in the world so this would have been something difficult for me to try to sort through myself. Even though they do have some great write-ups on the forums, it's much easier for us to uh, reach out to Sam and pay him for this service. And as you can see here, he's actually connecting our PC to that device so that he can look at what's there, what data is there, and he can make those changes. A few minutes later. Sport Plus, track, track drag strip, winter, snow wet conditions. All right, well that's a wrap with Sam. Uh, if you guys are gonna do this swap, I highly recommend reaching out to him uh, you can find him on the internet at breeves002.com and uh, his website has all this stuff for sale plus all his services. And I'm super excited with the way this turned out. This was one of the features that I wanted on the car and it just wasn't able uh, to happen with the packages that we got. So being able to upgrade to this was a huge plus and it was super simple. Literally did it in a couple hours here in the shop with standard hand tools. That's a wrap on this one, guys. This is the only install we're gonna do on the car today, but uh, I wanna go for a ride and see how this reacts, and uh, I love the way the tack is, man. It's so cool. You! Man, so cool. Dude, this is the best mod we've done so far, I think. I mean, it's simp simply for the driver, but like, nobody else knows about it that's in here and stuff, but it's so cool. Should do a little Brody. <laughs> that was a quick one. There goes the GoPro. Oh. <laughs> All right, well that's a wrap on our instrument cluster video. I've had a couple days to drive the car now and experience it uh, to its fullest. And man, I'm super pumped with the way it turned out and the overall experience. It was definitely one of the best mods we've done to the car and it really modernizes the interior quite a bit like a brand new car should have. So I'm excited about it. And I guess the next thing I wanna mention is I had read the comments in the last video and I saw a lot of you guys fairly upset or not understanding why this has become a giveaway car because it was essentially my daily driver and I got rid of the Lexus so that I could have a Mustang daily driver, blah, blah, blah. Well, I should explain. So the Lexus actually now belongs to Victor, our video editor. I didn't trade it in. I know a lot of you guys thought I traded it in. I did not. I actually sold it to one of our guys that wanted to buy it. So it's still in the family. You'll still see it in the background of our videos. And the Mustang 
is my daily driver. I still have three months with this car. Uh, we're not giving it away till the end of the second quarter, so we still have two and a half months essentially. And I'm gonna be driving it every day, modifying it as uh, we have parts come in and we do have a lot more parts coming. In fact, I'm filming a, a very extensive suspension video currently that you guys will see in the next episode. I wanna make it very clear that I absolutely love this car. I've fallen in love with it. I think it's a way better car than I even anticipated when we first got it. And I'm so glad that we, we started the domestic road with a Mustang. I think it's turned out great for us. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it, even if you're not necessarily Mustang fans. I hope you can appreciate the Ford Mustang for what it is, and that's a driver's car, and it is fantastic. I'm really gonna be sad to see it go, but I'm really excited that one of you guys is gonna get it. And to add to that, uh, one thing we cannot do is be accumulating cars around here. We're constantly getting new cars to build for channel content, and if we were to hold on to every car, we'd have nowhere to put them all. We can't get a building big enough here in Southern California to house everything and, and have it be affordable for us. Giving back to our VAP members and end users and subscribers is most important to us and giving back to the car community, which has been so great to every one of us here at Throttle. So I hope you guys can understand that. I hope it makes sense. We feel like this new 2024 Mustang is gonna be an absolute banger when we're ready to give it away. If you guys haven't entered already, head on over to throttle.com. Every dollar you spend on car parts or merchandise is one entry to win. If you're a VIP member, you actually get five entries per one dollar you spend head on over to the site get some stuff get your entries in because this one is going to be amazing when it's done guys we've got a lot more video content for you coming up a lot more great new parts for this car so stay tuned and you'll see those in the upcoming videos thank you guys so much for subscribing keep the thumbs up coming and we love to read your comments leave us some down below we'll see you guys in the next one